Hello everybody, my name is Judah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making the thigh of my armor. Right now I have the foot and the, the shins. I was going to do a video about the shins, but then I lost steam because, you know, it's freezing cold and then the sparks hit my phone and my phone and now it's all cracked but it still works so you know so I ended up not making a video about it but I can just do a little tour of it anyways so let's see how it is is it's got this knee guard right here it's trying it's got I would viced it so it looks like like sharp right here and then it's got these rivets right here that attach it to this metal piece like that then there's this thicker metal because this was the thinnish metal so I uh, got some thick metal and riveted in right here you can see one's under this and then right there so it reinforces it and then I got this piece it comes around, so this would be on the front of your shin, and I also got this, just, you know, detailed piece, and then there's some padding, and, so yeah, that's golden, and then this piece, so it'll be like this, and then this piece comes in like this, like that, and it locks in there, so then your leg like this and then this would go around and you would belt it on right here like this like that and now this is the foot for this leg and this would kind of go on like that but when the thigh is on, this will actually be on the weight of my uh, waist, because it'll bell on the waist. It'll have some there here, so it'll be about like right there. And the foot, I never, I never give a tour because I don't talk in my videos a lot. But it bends from that leather or whatever I put in there. I can't remember the strip that comes down here. It's attached to this one goes down to this one, it's attached there and attached here, lets it bend. And this rope is through the shoe, it's, you gotta keep it wide or it'll tear out, but it's about the length of the shoe, or the width, and then there's two holes, and then it comes up and ties on the top of here. And then as you can see I have these rings here on the rope so that they won't untie, and then you pinch them closed. Then you got the back, and then this chain, it's kind of just to hold it together a little bit, it kind of holds this main piece on here. It's got these that are attached to the shoe, with a good width so it doesn't tear out, like that. And then there's a belt right here, so when you use this, you unbelt this here. So the belt comes out, okay, so the belt comes off like this, and then to put it on, because it's tight, so you can't put your foot really in here, until, and so this piece comes off like that, and it'll click, so this piece is bent into here and then it goes inside there you push it closed when you get it back on then you belt it again and then what I'm going to be showing you today or working on that's actually a how to because normally when I make a video I just take a video right when I'm starting I don't really test anything out so what I've done is I've built one and now I'm going to show you how to build the other so, it looks like this, so, 
this is the thigh, the knee, and this is the chin piece. It's attached to here. So it'll lock on like right there. You can bend your knee. You're not gonna yeah. You might wanna I would make another little leather strip, maybe have some plates in here, but I think it's pretty good. And then it's got this piece right here. It guards the side of your leg, so if somebody came in with a sword, it wouldn't be able to catch you. Because, you know, it's kind of hard to put armor on the back of your leg, because your leg has to bend. And so you can see how it's curved right here. It curves up, and I've, it's a lip. It's lipped on, it's rolled. So it's completely smoother here. So it lets it be able to bend. And then, so yeah, it's kind of hard. I do got some right here, this armor from the shin. And then, on my chest plate, you know, it's got that thing that comes down. It's got like a bunch of layered plates for your bottom protection. So it goes down to about here on you, so it'll be good. I'm gonna think it'll put in a blue kind of cape thing on the bottom. Like in the back, so you, yeah, yeah. And then it's got this rolled edge because this would be the front, this would be the side to your crotch. So I rolled it so if it doesn't, eh, it doesn't like oh, you. So yeah, and then I got it rolled on the top here just so it's when you move your leg, it doesn't, you know completely jab into you and say for right here it's got a little roll right here so when you can move your leg because this, this was completely rectangular it would just like collide with your waist so it's rolled right here so yeah and how these are attached is it's just a you could use leather or like a thick string belt and it's in here like this it's got a rivet right here into this piece and right here on the sides well it would be hard to have plates because if I had a strip right here I could put plates on the strip it would be really easy but the thing is I would it would have to be really loose so, well I guess but it would be loose so then if you rivet the plates when you bend it they would be all over the place because it'll get longer the more you bend. So if you have it really short and fitting right here, when you bend it, it's just going to stop. Be stuck. So I'm not sure about that, how to do that, but yeah, I guess you can figure something out. So they're on the edges, these ropes, because the edges don't get any shorter, they're the same. So it's like that. And then there's this belt. And that goes under, like right where the joint of your leg is. So you slide your leg into here. It's just a belt that you don't buckle it. And it slides into here, you put your foot on, put the chin on. And then this belt, it's got a ring right here. And this pair cord right here that attaches it to another ring that's on the belt. And then you belt it on to your waist. So the other leg is going to also be on the same belt. It's going to be like right here. So you just belt it all on. So yeah. And I'm actually in the shed right now. It's 48 degrees. Which is really warm. So. And my hair's messed up. So. Yeah. And I have the green screen in here. My mom got me a while ago for gaming. And then I ended up not doing gaming. And then I didn't have any use for it. But now it's here in the shed. You can. It's right there. <laughs> so, yeah. I will slide my thigh on. Armor. Jeez. Yeah, armor. And I'll show you what it looks like. And then we'll get to making it. Peace. So, how it is. It's like this. You gotta take your shoe off. Or your metal shoe, I guess. Whichever one you want. I'm gonna get my metal. You just leave your shoe there. 
you put your leg through this uh, belt that's on the side, like this, keep your pants, you could tuck your pants into your sock, which I'll do real quick. Just tuck it in there. It'll make it easier to put on and it'll, you know, pad your shin from this. So, then you bring it up all the way to right here. And then you get your belt. It's right here. Bring it around. Like this. Belt it on. Like that. Now this is all just hanging here like this. Just flopping around. So then what you do is this piece, you put your shin in here. And this will keep this from rolling if it's when it's attached to your shin. You close it around there, comes in on the other side, goes under the shin like that. You belt it on. And at this point you can put your shoe back on, which I'll do. Bend over all the way tight, belt it like that, and now it's on. I'll go outside and show you. So, yeah, it looks like this. Bend. Yeah, looks like that. And this piece is the piece that keeps you protected on the side. So you can do this. So yeah, piece. And also, I forgot to mention this. Well, I didn't really forget, but on my video of me building the shin. I accidentally filmed it somehow. I was filming like this, but the whole thing was filmed vertically, and that made me one of die. So yeah. Anyway, I built this shield with my only armor. It's got my symbol on it. It kind of looks like a B, but it's a J and then an L and then an M on the side. So yeah, it's got these reinforcement things, and the handle is kind of diagonal. It's not all the way vertical or horizontal, it's like that. And it's got this padding on here. There's a bunch of reinforcements. These are a bunch of uh, 1x4s. 1x4 here, there, 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 and there. And it's kind of got a curve to it, because since it's separate, I can bend it. So it's got a curve. And there's these metal reinforcements and metal over here. This is um, some fabric that goes over here and staple gunned it to the side. So yeah, and then I made I made this. It's not the best because I still haven't got the forge working. Or dad, kind of. We need to put a propane torch in the forge to harden the stuff. So it's kind of a soft axe head. It's good looks though. It's got a very pointy. This is deadly. This is kind of like a hammer. It's gonna break an ice. And then there's the head. How I did it is they're welded on. These thick brackets go over and they're welded onto the head. And this is a copper pipe. This handle. There's a dowel inside it. It's flattened on here. This is some duct tape and there's a rope under here under the duct tape so it doesn't slide out of your hand. And yeah, it's pretty good. It's kind of a looks weapon, but it's also a weapon at the same time. It's like this. Put your armor on. It's all this laying there because I had to 
modified stuff. So yeah, it's pretty nice. You can go like. So yeah, that's this. That's what I've done in the time that I haven't been making videos, because I'm lame. Now the shed. Now the shed kind of looks messy, but you know, as the sheds are for. I kind of. It's actually pretty clean now. I've really cleaned it. Got all my scraps in here. It's a little messier right now because I was working on a thigh. It's my angle grinder, yeah. And here's the piece we're going to be working on today. So, this is a little wide. So, I'm cutting it down. This is, I measured it. And yeah. So, this is how it is it's just a rectangle. This is a little wide, so we're going to cut it. And my uncle gave me this and the other piece and a bunch of other stuff. Metal. So yeah, I what you do is it's really simple. You just bend this into a pillar, half pillar. Slap it on your leg and bend your leg. And if it doesn't move, bend right, cut some off. <laughs> and I bend it again, doesn't move right, cut some off here. Keep doing that until it moves. If you try to get an identical one with your other one. So yeah. And then you just roll the edges to make it so it doesn't like stab you somehow. Like it, the place where it kind of it does collide because of physics. Then you just roll it. I will do that and I'll show you how to do it again ish. I don't know. So yeah. You just do that. It's pretty easy. So yeah, it's going to be nice to have my other leg done. Peace. Alright, so this first piece we're going to work on is cutting this down because it's a tiny bit too wide. Now, you can just measure this by going to the very top, like where you would buckle your belt at. That would be the top. And then, like the very right above your knee. That's pretty good. Maybe. That's what I think anyways. So yeah, that's how you do it. Now I'm going to get some gloves on, which I left inside the house, so I'm going to have to get it. And I'll, I'm going to get some goggles on, which I left inside the house, so I'm going to get And then I'm going to get some headphones on, so I don't go deaf, which I left in the house, so I'm going to get See it. Now, to tell how loud this thing is, I'll scream at the top of my lungs. Well, not the top, because then I'll sound like a girl. But, you know, I'll scream. And yeah. This is good material. Alright, so now, this is sharp as heck, so, you know, we gotta fix that. Now, you could use a file, or a bench grinder, an angle grinder, but you could use a file and go like this. You will need a bench grinder to grind the corners, because you want to grind all these corners to be rounded. You don't ever really want a sharp corner for stuff like this. Yeah, yeah. Kind of or you could be cool, yeah, and then more effective, I guess. So, it's a better job. Okay, so 
You just go to the bench grinder. This. See, this is bright. Okay, like that. And, you know, just grab your piece. And you just grind it. Harden this dusty uh, sawdust, but um, you get your vise and having one of these things is really nice to have it steel thick and it helps bend it into a circle. So, yeah, it's nice to have one of these. If you don't, you probably use like a dowel, maybe like a really big dowel. Anything that's like strong and circular is good for this. It just helps it turn into a sphere, a sphere, a pillar when you bend it. So you put it in your vise. This. And there's a gap right here. That's where you put this in. So you just bend this. Now, most of the time, I just use your body weight because this is so big so you bend this until it fits your leg nicely so you just get like that flip it back up again put it down clamp it that. Flip it up again clamp it Stand up and kind of just, uh, uh, and then you know, clamp it, clamp it again, ah, uh, oh, and then you clamp it. Oh my gosh, yeah. So then you clamp it again, <laughs> you sit on it like that, you clamp it. That comes a little bit of doing it. So, it still is not going to fit on your thigh, it's freaking gigantic. So now, we want to do this at an angle, so we're going to open the vise a little more. And right where this corner is, where we bent it, we're going to want to clamp it right there. So you're going to have to open it a little more. And this is going to go under this. Just like that. And then you clamp it, you want to hold it while you're clamping it, so it doesn't slide out. Like that. And then, same thing. Just. Oh, dang. That's not clamping up. I'm just fly off. 
You really clamp it? Uh, uh. Like that. Okay. Oh, uh, and then unclamp it. Make sure it's still under that. Clamp it again. Slowly moving it this way so you're getting every edge. Oh dang. So yeah. Now I may have just torn my shirt. But that shirt is okay because it's more shirt I already had holes all over. So don't mind that. Anyway, so clamp this hard so that doesn't happen. And you might want to get a rubber mallet and just uh, oh, ah, and make sure it doesn't fly off. And then do it again. Oh, just completely lay on it. And then you, you open it again. And then you slide it. Clamp it. Nice and tight. Uh, oh, get a rubber mallet and just oh, oh, and then, yeah, I'm standing on a little shelf thingamajig so I can get a little taller. And just, we're getting there. Oh. And then you just slide across again, like that. Like that. And you just, and then, there we go. Okay, so now it's gonna look like this. You can see uh, it's a lot deeper on that side. So you're gonna flip it up and do the exact same thing. It's gonna be even harder. Now. Open this up a little wider. Hold it while you're clamping it. That's all the way there. Clamp it nice. And tight, and get a rubber mount, and just oh, oh, hey. and then oh, you do the same thing again. Only it's gonna be so much harder now. I'm off the ground. I'm flying. Crap, that's not good enough. You just completely climb on the bench. Come on. I'm like four feet in the air right now. Not good enough, maybe. Just Just you got crunch it. If we do the other side. Get a little easier. Okay. So that goes. Oh my gosh. Like that. Climb it. Nice and tight. What the heck is happening? Oh, it's wrong. Okay. Take your glasses off and earbuds, and then you just take that off because it's freaking hot. Unzip your first layer of coat, take it off, take your gloves off, uh, take your coat off. Uh, and then you throw that over there, and then you take your other coat off too. Uh, personal choice, you can take your shirt off too, but I'm not gonna do it. So, yeah. Just take it off. Throw it over there. Put your gloves back on. And put your headphones back on. I don't know why I have my glasses on. You do not need glasses on for this. <sighs> Goggles. What do you want to call them? Put your gloves back on. 
so you can look like Ash Kitchen from Pelotown. And then you just slide it on. You close back on. This is one of the hardest things I've made. It's so hard. Okay. And just. <laughs> Make sure it's nice and tight. That was really good. Okay. Put your headphones back on. Because this is going to be loud. That's not effective. Okay. This is getting pretty good, actually. Slide across like that. Clamp it. Like that. Oh, it's getting easier. It's getting easier now. I did that side. Okay. Ugh. Oh, sorry for all my grunts. Like, ah. Uh, oh. I forgot how loud I'm being because of these headphones. Mute everything. Complete silence. I'm not freaking screaming. This is probably very not interesting. So, yes. Alright. That's pretty good. Okay. You can taper it down so it's smaller on one end, just a little bit, and then bigger because your ham hock is like that. Thigh ham hock. So, yeah. Now it should look like this. That's pretty good. It'll slide onto your right thigh. Because I already made the lift. Like that. Fits on okay, Lee. I think I could. Well, let's see. It's pretty good. Alright. Take a break and take a nice video of the sun. And yeah, it's a pretty nice day out. It's 50 degrees. And all my other videos I've made in the past like two months, it was like five degrees. So this is pretty good. Ah. <sighs> My hands are not tired. My whatever muscle you use to use all your body weight. <laughs> the gravity is tired. Alright. So you got this. Come over here and just see this. This is the right left cheese. Did I say right? I meant left. Left thigh. It'll go on here. It looks a little big, but You'll be cutting some of this off. Pretty much everything up to here and the back. Right here is going to be cut off. Something in the front is going to be like right here is going to be cut off. And then, like, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'll stay like that. So, yeah. Alright. I might make a part two of this. I will. But this is already long because of all the interview and everything I did. And, yeah. So, I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching and bye. I'm broken. My, my brain is broken right now because I used too much body weight.